exposures like uh, cigarette smoking uh, of future fathers are associated with poorer health outcomes uh, in their children. To try and understand what was the biological mechanisms that can explain the association between fathers smoking and health of their offspring, we took DNA from the children and we measured uh, epigenetic patterns. So epigenetics are chemical changes to the DNA uh, that control gene expression and can result from changes in the environment. And so we looked at the epigenetic patterns in the children and related them to whether their fathers smoked and when their fathers started smoking. So did they start smoking as adults or as children? And when we looked at the epigenetic patterns in the children, again, we saw much more pronounced changes in the children whose fathers started smoking early, so before the age of 15. And we think that's because this is a critical period for uh, development of males, puberty. It's when the cells will be formed that will produce sperm for the rest of their life and therefore can potentially pass on the effects of exposures like smoking uh, to their children. In previous studies, we and others have already shown that uh, mothers who smoke during pregnancy, we can see a specific epigenetic signature in their offspring. So for mothers who smoke, uh, you're getting a direct exposure of the child during pregnancy to components in the cigarette smoke uh, that can cross the placenta and directly affect the developing child. When we're talking about fathers smoking and fathers who smoke before their child's even conceived, we're talking about passing that information uh, through sperm into the fertilized egg. One of the components of cigarette smoke that may cause these effects on subsequent generations is nicotine. And of course today, while we have very effective public health measures that have really reduced the amount of smoking uh, in adolescents, exposure to nicotine is much, much higher and that's because of the rise of vaping. While we can't prove that vaping will have the same effect as we've seen with cigarette smoking, I think we have to be cautious. Although uh, vaping does have benefits for individuals who already smoke in terms of harm reduction. It potentially also has uh, implications for future generations as well. We shouldn't wait to find out that in 30 or 40 years time we can see similar effects on future generations that we see with cigarette smoking. We really should be trying to uh, reduce the incidence of uh, vaping uh, in teenagers today.